the pride though of winning the, pr- the pride yeah. for winning would be nice it, as it, the dope like, yes, getting from it yes, would be yes, like ungodly <laughs> but like losing to some shit stained idiot and like i let yeah they're yelling teabagging i let down the squad i'm, I'm like getting disrespected yeah I'm, I'm like three and twelve or something <laughs> like, I'm like I'm, maniac I'm, you're fucking nervous i don't know in the pit Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the podcast. We'll get started on that uh, in a little bit. I just want to let you guys know about Factor, the sponsor of this podcast, and how easy it is for you to get some foods made straight to your home that are healthy, that you have millions of choices, whether it's vegan, whether it's pescatarian, whatever food you want to consume in healthy manners, this app, this opportunity is the way. Too busy to cook this May? So am I. I want to be out there enjoying. I want food to come to me and I want to be able to fine tune the dials to get me the meal that I want. I don't want beef every single day of the week. Why don't you throw me a little bit of lobster here, some chicken over there, and then we'll have a really good, healthy routine as we go into the summer. And right now, if you go to uh, factormeals.com slash optic50, you can get 50% off of your first box with code OPTIC50. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below, but OPTIC50 at factormeals.com slash OPTIC50. And don't forget to use the code OPTIC50 to get 50% off your first box. Seth, why don't you give us an intro to the podcast? Welcome to the OPTIC Podcast, episode 126, man. It's been a lot of episodes. I say that every time now. It's, it's, I feel like it's, it's not a lot of episodes. I'm actually confused on how we're only on 126. Well, we're not oh. counting the ones that we used to do at the at the Scuff House with little dirt oh, and yeah. shit. <laughs> Why is Matt mean mugging me? Well, my uh, <laughs> Matt looks looked like, at me like Matt looked like he got some sun while we were out there in Toronto getting some work in. I was not getting any sun. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> we were out there in Toronto. You came for a two-day little vacation. Yeah, the boy, listen, the, the boys didn't perform the way that they were supposed to perform, as you guys can see on this dope-ass uh, event t-shirt that we're going to have at Vegas. It happens, man. They, it, you know what? It happens is what I keep telling myself. They take it hard? <sighs> yeah, yeah. You got to. You see my tweet? No. I was like, it hurt when even I placed top 12. Yeah. And I ain't on that elite fucking, yeah. you know, like, people are expecting them to be in finals. Yeah. Oh yeah, so the for them to, for them to get top as 12, favorites to win. They were the heavy and favorite. And they had a good win. road. It's like, it was a like, good yeah. road, and it was like yeah, <laughs> the perfect best, road. Yeah. yeah, everything was set up. Perfect. Fucking yeah. Toronto phase. They were all on the other side of the bracket. Is that a fucking roach? Oh no, that's dude. There, I, there's roaches in this place. I saw, yeah, I, I saw that over there. I, I saw they were playing. We gotta, we gotta, sorry, exterminate. Sorry, call Orkin man. I saw they were playing Florida, and I just turned it off. And like went and like worked out. Nah, or something. Florida looked like the globe. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, I come back. I'm like, we're playing today. And then uh, Sabas was actually over. He was like, yeah, we lost yesterday. I was like, huh, dude. He was like, yeah, three zero. I'm like, what the fuck? Florida 3-0. looked like the globe trotters against us. And then they got 06 the yeah. next day. Did they? Yeah, of they, course, they, dude. It's they so like annoying it's always, it's when the shit stains happens. like come out of nowhere. <laughs> it's always on fuck fire. up your journey and then lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, after after the Florida match, we were predicting like a Florida phase grand or not grand. Well, yeah, grand final, and then Florida got bounced. Were the games really close though? The against Florida, us? Uh, against us? No, uh-uh. it was just like a blow. No, bro, we got fucking slammed. It, we didn't show up. We didn't go. We came in twelfth place because we didn't go to Toronto. We did not, bro. We did not go to Toronto. I don't care yeah. what that says. We lost our or didn't make the flights. No, we nah, just people were making just... jokes like they love first class so much they wanted to get back on the plane. Like, that was good. They're making a bunch of jokes. No first class for them no more. We do have a little excuse though, right? What with Ghosty? He was sick as a dog. No, is that a saying? Yeah, he was. <laughs> but, but in my look, this is something that the young man will learn as 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 he continues to, to you know to be around me, is that you can't tweet out no excuses. But yeah, 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 yeah. here's my excuse. <laughs> Wait, yeah. he, he did tweet that out? But, yeah. yeah what I hate is how, like, we were on the watch party, like, literally breaking down why they lost. Like, we didn't make a single excuse, but, like, I swear people don't know the, the definition of excuse. Yeah. 
Because like we were like, yeah, they didn't play good, blah blah blah, which isn't an excuse. Yeah, it's like, they and just then the chat. And fight. then they're like, well, that's an excuse. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm like, what are you talking about? No, that's about? a reason. Yeah, I was like, reason. they didn't block on this and shit. And like, yeah, it's like, obviously they had a bad weekend. Dan was sick. I think he wasn't sick day one. He wasn't sick against Mutineers. Uh, he was sick against uh, the Thieves, though, I believe. But I mean, I was talking to Dylan at the bar. He's like, we're a tough round one matchup, and I was like. It's a tough round one matchup to get uh, thieves, losers round one. Yeah. Like yeah, once you, I saw that, especially. But I, same for, you know, them, though. They're like, yeah. fuck, I mean, I want to play Florida. thinking that? I feel like yeah. they get off when playing Optic. Who? Yeah. Thieves. Sure. Everyone should get off playing us. Yeah, uh, everyone brings their A like game you just, against. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you everyone know brings their, their A, a game, game against Optic. So, it's always been that way. That's, everyone wants to beat us, you know, biggest fan base. What about um the coolest dudes around? How, where's the hottest, <laughs> hottest bro? Hottest we we, shit. Took, we like, took Seth uh, on a shopping spree. Little yeah, little shopping spree. Really? Yeah. Went everywhere. Went to a drift. Went to uh, other streetwear stores. We even went into like a vintage store, and then we ended up on Stone Island. Stone Island. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, there let me get a pair of Spain. pants. It's five hundred dollars. Stone Islands are nice. <laughs> Good they're, material, dude. They're fucking. Comfortable. I went ham in there. Yeah, for, my, for me personally. Wait, were you picking? The, the deal was that I had to pick everything for him. And he would suggest yeah. it. And I'd be like, shut the fuck up. You're not picking <laughs> nothing. It's like, it's like, you got to where you got to. But, well, you know, he's like, let's go get some graphic tees. I'm like, no. I, I mean, love, I was, gra uh, I love yeah. graphic tees. I mean, so do I. So do I. Long, clearly. long yeah. sleeve t-shirt. I fucking love it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see some of the fit. But but we were, we were uh, well. Well, some of them don't fit anymore. After, he, after he gained the five, he gained I tried five. them on. Yeah, I, I gained five pounds while I was there. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I mean, same. Well, bro, we get to Stone Island. I'm like, I'm like, what's your waist size? And he says, uh, like 34. I'm like, I'm 34. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you said sure? you're 36. Huh? <laughs> no, I, I, no, I'm 30. These are 34s. I'm 36 because I like to wear my shit baggy. But yeah, I gained some. I gained some weight back. I'll lose it again though. Back to starving myself I at home. An answer for that. Is there something else I can? No, Siri. they're always listening, man. They're always listening. But yeah, Toronto was great. I mean, despite the placing, I mean, I the event was great. I was in with the food spots. <sighs> Honestly, kind of missing a little bit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know what, Seth? I didn't want to put him on blast, but man, I don't. I just uh... we didn't go to any of he the places the that he said, like Sugo, Marble. We didn't go to like any of the places he said. Obviously, there were some nights that were better than others. Like the the steakhouse we went to, that place was that Caesar was fucking phenomenal. Okay, but that was uh, the, we went to this very fancy steakhouse called uh, Jacobson. Ja Jacob sixty. Jacob something. Something. Jacobson yeah. company. Whatever the fuck. Steakhouses are not where I like. That is fine dining, but that's not elevated fine. I want to go to places where the chef is an artist and wants to show off for you. Like, look at this. Look, like I, just came, I just came. Taroni was fucking. Mm, oh, my God. It was so good. I stayed in one of the nights and ordered that. Oh, the night that I left. Um, I can't believe you could order that. Yeah, me either. And, and guess what? It didn't, didn't give me any fucking forks. No spoons. Oh, that happened to me, too, the other, uh, the other day. What, you were eating with your hands? Bro, I was in a hotel. Like, I, I, I'm like, I'm, I called downstairs. I'm like, hey, can I get a bottle of water? Can you bring me some cutlery, please? And I waited and waited. My shit got cold. And I hate <laughs> yeah. cold food. Oh, yeah. That pasta cold would not be good. No. But the event was great. Uh, I mean, Toronto is like one of my top three favorite cities, I think. Yeah. Oh, the, amazing city. Walking just, the city. That uh, was good. Uh, went everywhere. Weed's legal there. So, you know, people, I mean, it's good. It's, it's a really, really good city. I would gladly live there for six months. Gladly. Yeah. You Three. went out there. You went out for drinks and shit. They did hit the club. Couple couple nights we did. Yeah, not every night, but a couple nights we went low rogue because we went we hung out with uh, Mitch one night. That night was rogue because everywhere that guy goes, the they're player. fucking superstar. Yeah, yeah, he's on the the Leafs, and everywhere that guy goes, there's complimentary oh, yeah, tequila yeah, yeah. shots to come out. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Catching straight, I can imagine, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. dude. Like so, so that that place we went to with him, the Jacobs, like the steak. Steakhouses are not my thing. It's because the steak is gonna cook. It's gonna taste good no matter what. It's meat. Yeah, it's, steak is gonna be steak. But my goodness, the fucking table side Caesar salad that they made there it was nice. They started out by cracking two eggs, Dude, people into are, a big ass wooden bowl. People are gonna start saying they're watching this right now, just laughing. Why? They're, they're already like the process is gonna be a travel vlog. No, I mean no, no, no. 
Here it, we are talking about food. Yeah, well, it's, it's just a food. food to, to watch more to be fair, we weren't the food. ones playing. We were just yeah. watching, eating, drinking. Drinking, eating. Having a good time. But this next weekend, we got DreamHack Halo. Super looking forward to that. DreamHack Halo this weekend. The weekend after that, we have Nate Shot's bachelor party. Nick's, Nick's on, the, on the watch party, too, co-streaming his on his maybe. POV. He said maybe. Why? What the fuck? Why? Why well, maybe? For one, watch parties are my biggest streams. And I'm supposed to just like throw that all away to appear no. on a no, but you're, you're to you're, co-stream. He doesn't want to. But yeah. co-streaming, oh. let's be honest, co-streaming doesn't. It's not going to make everyone's on scump stream. I'm not saying I'm not going to be on it. No, no, no. You can do what he does. Yeah, he that has, doesn't really. That saying, doesn't really huh? like pop off. If if it was like a cons for for one, I'm not saying I'm not going to be on it. Well, let me ask you a question. When was the last time you streamed? But that's kind of irrelevant. Okay. Because I did I did mm. take a little break from streaming. Halo's coming up. I'll stream Halo this week. Watch parties are my biggest stream. Yeah, okay. It's just like That's momentum. It's, it's hard to just like give that up to like be on Seth's stream. Even though obviously it like it would be fun. Hey man. And ain't nobody you need fucking, some Halo knowledge. Ain't no one twisting ain't no one, your arm. Ain't up. no one begging you, man. If you want to <laughs> come on. Come on, <laughs> come on man. If you wanna come on, come on. Yeah, it's just, just open invitation. Yeah, okay. We'd love to have you on, but well, I, I do get I what he's saying. I get what he's I get saying. it too. Yeah, they're just like, it's my biggest stream, so it's like, it's hard. Obviously, it's not going to be as big with Seth streaming. you got to be the biggest stream live. But it's just hard to be like, all right, I'll just give up my biggest stream to come be on this. Yeah, yeah. but I, I wouldn't blame Maybe. You. I wouldn't blame you There's at all. also a... Uh, I think like an open tournament, and Ace was asking me to play. There's like a hell yeah. bro, the teams that didn't. Do that. The, the team, bro, I don't know if I can. You might fuck around and win with Aaron. Maybe. I, I mean, mean, he would probably. We. I'd probably have a team that could carry me, but it's like I haven't played in so long. I've barely played the last like four since COD Ranked has come out. I've barely touched Halo at all. Because the top six. It's just like if I if I played. Yeah, all the good teams are in the tournament. Yeah. And then the teams that didn't qual qualify, it's not like their ors are going to like fly them out to play in this open tournament. Yeah. So it might be a free lick. <sighs> Maybe. But I don't know. There's a prize? We'll it's fucking, it's like 2500 for yeah, first. But, but it's like, that's a pride. bad total. The pride, though, of winning. The, pr the pride yeah. for winning would be nice. It, as it, the dope like, yes, getting from it yes, would be, like, ungodly. <laughs> but, like, losing to some shit-stained idiot. They're yelling at you. <laughs> oh. and, and, like, I let, yeah, they're yelling, teabagging. I let down the squad. I'm, I'm like, just getting disrespected. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, three and 12 or something. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm, Maniac, uh, you're fucking nervous. I don't know. In the pit? So, you don't know if you're built like that anymore? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think I think I'd show up and like do pretty well. Hell yeah! My focus, my focus would actually come back because I just I just can't let that happen to me. Who knows? Maybe maybe it would be a a jump start. Get back in. Maniac comes I back. Nah, replaces formal. Those times those times are gone. What a fucking <laughs> regardless, what an arc. Regardless what an arc. of ha what happens, this will be a fun weekend. Formal said that he's not coming on because we are quote unquote checkouts. I saw that. <laughs> so, I saw that. So I said, all right, Formal, fuck yourself. Yeah, I saw that. that uh, kinda, he's kind of right. Yeah. I, wouldn't, if, yeah, if, I wouldn't want to talk to yeah. you guys before I'm fucking playing. Yeah, well, no. Not before, after though? After like, if you're done for the day, I could see it. And if you're playing good. But if Maybe, you're like not but... playing so good, like hey, I can listen, see man, not wanting to come We're not on. begging nobody to come home, man. You we know, ain't begging like, them, but it'd be cool, man. It'd be cool to have formal for sure. But yeah. we, you know, all the other boys are good too. Absolutely, um, I can't wait. I haven't yeah. been to a, we haven't been to a Halo event since Seattle, which is where I got engaged. So I obviously, I uh, love Halo. It's always had a special place in my heart. It's where basically the first FPS that I grew up playing. So. Yeah, I you used watching. to be on the sidelines just watching the main stage. Hell yeah, I love, I love watching. Ca Cod would be on the little side stations over there. Look and you got Walshy up here. It's Seth just on the side like. Oh my God, <laughs> it's Walshy. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Roy twins. It's oh my God, there's Mania. Uh, uh, Dreamhack. <laughs> <laughs> like, who, wait, who is that? <laughs> Who's that one? The redhead. The, the... Wait, Dream that's Maniac? Isn't uh, uh you, you were doing your thing, man. Isn't DreamHack a massive fucking event? Yeah, I feel like I Dude, I had to have been to one before, right? There's like like CS. it's not just gonna be Halo. No. CS, Fortnite, I think. 
I don't know the other games. I bought. I'm it's about sure. to be a shit show around here, isn't it? Damn. CS, Fortnite. Yeah. This is like the biggest. <laughs> is DreamHack show. about to be the, uh, the biggest event? DreamHacks are always huge. Oh, like yeah. hundreds of people, like, like thousands of people. 50,000. It's like a convention. Like It's like I a might, convention with tournaments. See, like, yeah. Like, Tyler One's going to be there. I haven't drank since. Hungry Box. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. I I wouldn't be surprised if like a fighting game's there, like Smash. I just saw uh, hungry. Probably box fucking furries and shit are gonna pop out. You know, what furries are cosplayers. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> like, that have, it's gonna be that have tails. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, this uh, might be the weekend I break my cosplay. There it is. My drinking streak. Well, I will say this: what I am looking most forward to is obviously seeing the boys win. But the second thing that I'm looking most forward to is the hot wings at the owner's box. I am talking about the best hot wings that have ever been hot winged in the history of humankind. Wait, where is this oh, at? Yeah, where? I didn't even, where I didn't even seen this yet. Here. At the convention center. Next to Omni. Oh, okay. And then for oh. breakfast, if we oh, can get yeah. there early. I'm down enough, to have we, some wings. Dude. Where's the, uh, where's the Halo event? Bro, trust me. Huevos Rancheros from Texas Spice in the morning. Oh, oh hell yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be dope, Damn. man. I can't wait. I love, I love, I love live event, live events. IEM, CS:GO. Of course, they got a fucking just planetary looking stage. Just a UFO. Wait, where's the Halo era. one, Matt? Uh, Halo's top right. CS is far left. Yeah. Dreamhack Fighters is right next to HCS. I mean, it's gonna be fucking dope. Uh, Look at that, Matt. See if uh, who's let's let's get a list of teams that are gonna be here and see if we can shoot some eavesdrops. This is right down the street. I mean, I'm sure IEM. IEM's a pretty big CSGO tournament, so um, there might be some top Have dogs. Have you done an Eve shot with Lucid? No, perfect timing. Uh, I feel like he would be a good... Did I? He's just a good... Lucid? I remember... I remember. Wait, I, don't, I don't remember what event it was, but Dallas, I remember... That's whenever I like went up and sh like saw like Olaf Meister and all that. It might have been another dream hack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Olaf. Lucid would just be a good guess, I think. So you Well-spoken, smart. I don't know how he's so Sim good, but... Check to see I'm if sure he's got a lot to say. See Probably if some weird here. story. Simple. So, has it been living on the panhandle? Any alligators where you're from? Anacondas? You ever see that guy on TikTok who just walks through the Everglades? Look at this water puppy. He's like dragging oh, yeah. a fucking uh -uh. a gator, like a Did big you... ass gator. He's like, look at this little water puppy. And he's just dragging it. He's like, he's asleep, but he's not waking up. Yeah. Oh, bro. It's crazy. Gotta watch that. This guy's insane. Bro, there's like 15 alligators. So he's like walking through and splashing. He'll just shit. pick up snakes and shit. Be like, yoink. <laughs> He'll be like, don't want to step on that guy, though. That's a copperhead. Bro. Like, <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> Dude, he's a, he's a madman. There was a guy in Florida who went outside of the bar because there was a long line at the bathroom. Went around the corner to pee by the dumpsters or by the lake, and he got his arm bit off by a fucking alligator. Matt, bring that shit up. Wait, where? Where was this? In, in, the, in Florida. In, yeah, see, yeah. Florida man shrugs off losing an arm. He's like, it's not the end of the world. There he is. Wait, what? Did he, he went off to just like piss somewhere. Jordan Rivera fell into a, a banditos place. bar. So he was at a fucking bar. Yeah, goes outside the bar. Oh, bathroom's busy. Oh, you gotta expect that. Yeah, like that if you're out there, <laughs> bro. You, like you, you're going out there with the iPhone light at least, <laughs> bare minimum. I'm not going out there. Yeah, if I know there's alligators, damn, there's a little cat in the front. Oh. That's what's what crazy is that, that part uh, what's crazy to me is that he's missing an arm, but he's in so much shock. Yeah. I mean, he's in so much shock and there's so much adrenaline going through his body. All he goes, he goes, whoa. Like you saw so you did see it. No, no, I didn't oh. see it. But the fact that he like has that much adrenaline there's going video. Oh, oh, there's a video lying on the ground and everyone's like, yo, he's in shock. Get a get a get a tourniquet, get a tourniquet. And they're fucking squeezing the shit out of I mean, it, was he left-handed, right-handed? Like, he lost his right arm. I mean, that's fucking crazy. It's so nuts, bro. Mm. But he was laying around. So he, was, he, was, he was, like, rolling around, and everybody was like, yo, calm down. And he's like, uh, uh. He's like, he's going into shock. He's going into shock. And then they, he starts screaming when they apply the tourniquet. He's like, sorry, dude, we got to squeeze hard. Because you got to 
you gotta think about you gotta you gotta cut off the the blood vessels and shit so you don't bleed out i mean that's fucking crazy. yeah he would have been gone in, in 60 they cut you you get cut here on this main artery you're gone in, in 90 seconds gone in 60 seconds <laughs> no ja angelina jolie <sighs> goodness man that is terrifying crocodiles are no joke yeah um you know, again, not uh, not 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 the weekend that we wanted. We have uh, we have nothing but forward to look to. Okay, we got Vegas. We have this week in Halo. We have a good road for champs as well. Yeah, did it? Did this shit help? Not our bracket. Uh, Who was I talking? I think it was Hitch, and he was saying our bracket now, or we just have a good bracket for champs. Yeah. I don't know if us losing. So got, getting top twelve no, helped us with had, the with, with the bracket, seat. but. Because we had second seed pretty much regardless. There were a couple of scenarios where we got overtaken. So, like, the only other thing that could have happened was, like, Toronto jumped over us, and we would have played, like, Rocker round one or, like, shit like that. What seed are we going into, champs? Second. Oh, shit. So, we played Boston. Yeah, but we're on the good side. I mean, to be fair, like, Boston right now, no disrespect, but kind of disrespect. Like, they're, they're like, probably the easiest team in yeah, champs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Right yeah. now, the way that they've been looking, but obviously we didn't look that great this weekend either. But out of all the teams there, it's like Boston, Surge has been struggling a lot. Uh, but other than those two teams, like, everyone looks good. So it's Minnesota's be... like, like a Florida team, right? I would say. Yeah. Oh, they're better I'm, now. A bit better than that. They're better now. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're better. playing a lot better. And then obviously. I mean, but we say that it's going to be like an easier road, but we have the champions on our side as well. We have New York on our side, yep. like, and they looked unbelievable this weekend. They're searching and Troy look crazy. It's going to be a crazy weekend. Shout out Troy, Sander, motherfucking yeah, Michael. Yeah, shout out Troy, man. Man. Congratulations, dude. Yeah. Really, really I, happy for him. Saw him backstage, and I was like, yo, am I going to see you out tonight? He's like, yeah, I'm going to get fucked up. And I was like, good for you, Troy. <laughs> Whipping his hair around oh, yeah. and shit. He's loving it, man. Yeah, congrats to them. I mean, it was a... Great tournament to watch again. It's obviously a little bit upsetting how things panned out for our team, but that final was crazy to watch. I drain them all. Crazy. Yeah, first game seven. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Some content. 5-2 comeback like, I'm from, bored when from I watch New this. York, game five. Like, that, that was the tournament right there. It's crazy. Crazy Fucking how Call of Duty Crazy. Works. You know what else was crazy? The NBA. Oh, my gosh. Right? That's Fucking just, uh, listen! I have enough conspiracy theories about this bro, past Call happened, of Duty event, man. but the NBA is really on some shit. Now we watched the end of Game Six. Once like, you start fucking with that prize picks, you'll see. You'll see, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, bro. Okay. Taco Tuesday. I'm not hitting on Taco Tuesday. It's half the motherfuckers' points. How did you know? Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. They're too good at it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, they, I don't know how they draw their lines, but yeah, we watched the end of game six. Like, we all got back from, I think we were at dinner or we were out drinking or something, but we all got back and we watched like the last five seconds when he put, put it back, dude. And I thought, I thought right there the Heat were going to lose. That was insane. Yeah, I thought the Heat were yeah. going to lose right there. I was like, they are they are compromised. Yeah. So they lost at home like that. Now they got to go back to Boston and then they beat them by 20 game 7 like. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Tatum's ankle had anything to do with it. They just you know, they just didn't do it for me. Re regardless of the fact like it, it's 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 Denver's fucking championship. They're too big yes. in every single Joker. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he's God's gift. Yeah, I think they won. To be honest, you think you think Jokic is better than uh, Luca? Hell yeah, they're the same size, right? No, same size. Joker. Hell, yeah. no. how big's the joke? Seven foot. <laughs> so is so is uh, six seven. Is is that's, I mean six but, seven and seven foot. That's uh, that's five three inches. inches. That's five inches under in the paint. That's probably big. add like fifty pounds too. Yeah, yeah. Joker's crit. I mean, no, he, I he's think a Denver glitch. I think Denver. But won. that was about to be. Weren't they heat up three zero? Yeah, that was about to be the first. Oh, dude, that would have been bad. They could, the dude. Uh. Give me a second, guys. Let me say hello to the sponsors really quickly. Rocket Money being the first one, uh, a longtime sponsor of the podcast. We certainly appreciate them coming back and believing. And then thank you guys for using it. Obviously, they wouldn't come back if the success of the show wouldn't have uh, represented the the uh, their intent. Obviously, they're here and they're back. So huge shout out to them. Uh, if you go, if you guys don't know what it is, uh, Rocket Money is a finance application that allows you to cancel any unwanted subscriptions it monitors your spending and it helps you lower your bills simple as that uh, when i used it i obviously understood that uh i was paying twice 
for shows. Well, let me give you the, the example that I went through. On my Amazon Prime, I was paying a subscription for Showtime. Well, at the same time, paying for Showtime uh, as, as the application itself. And then Jude herself was also paying for Showtime. So we, were, we, we found that out and we canceled uh, two of those things. So we're still getting the service. We're still, still big fans of that, uh, that network. It's just that we're not triple paying them for no reason whatsoever. Uh, over 80% of people have subscriptions that they have forgotten about. Guilty. And chances are you are one of them. That's also true. Like that Stars application just to watch that one show or free gaming trial that you never actually used. Rocket Money will keep quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And any of those subscriptions that you don't want will be discarded as quickly as you signed up for them. Uh, over 3 million people have used Rocket Money saving the average person around $720 a year. And right now, if you want to stop throwing your money away, you can cancel on one of subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash optic. That is rocketmoney.com slash optic. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to just click on that and go through the steps so that you can start saving some money. Rocketmoney.com slash optic. That is R-O-C-K-E-T dot com slash O-P-T-I-C. I'll allow you to misspell it this time, but only this time. You know, at first I was going for for Miami because of uh, of Jimmy Buckets playing for the Bulls when he did, and then I eventually I'm like, man, you know, Celtics are the only other team I've liked outside of the Bulls. Maybe now the Mavericks, obviously, because we're here. Um, but yeah, especially after after the last dance, like I'm 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 on some fuck the Bulls. I did finally finish that. I'm, I'm on some fuck the Bulls organization the way they treated <laughs> Wait, Michael Jordan. What? Yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> Wait, you, you don't fuck with the Bulls no more? Nah, hell no, nah. not the organization. Because Jerry. Kraus, yeah, yeah. I just, it's just. Did you hate him back then? Yeah. Or did you when Jordan? No, because it was very open. Why did they? Like they could have just like resigned like one year contracts, like. But they, but yeah, they could have. They would have. They wanted to rebuild. Yeah. And then, like, since rebuilding, have they done literally anything? They haven't won. Have they even came close? They had a good or. uh, maybe the beginning of this the order, whenever Lonzo first got hurt that whenever he got hurt that before that they were the best team in the NBA they were like Lonzo but like right before he re, like his most whatever most recent injury is yeah before that they were on like he a might be two, done. they were yeah. on like a yeah That's what I heard too. they were on a tear like they looked yeah. good and then he got hurt but even then, even back then when they got rid of Jordan and everyone you you start hating them back then too. yeah didn't watch them no more. Didn't watch any basketball. Huh? Yeah, fin- I finally finished it. It is crazy. That's got to be the best era, right? Of course you're going to say so. Of the NBA? Uh, yeah. It's because, objectively. Like, I don't know. I feel like I can feel the magic behind it. There, there, There is something special. Nowadays, it seems like it's just like, just People an, are just, it's just another paychecks. NBA season. People are just showing up for paychecks now. Yeah. People have social media. They got brand deals. Like back then, like it was about like Did, there are, I'm not saying that there aren't any current basketball players that are not in love with the game. I'm sure there is, but not at the level as everybody else. Like everybody, they were superheroes back in the nineties. Yeah. It's like Call of Duty then, Call of Duty now. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone back then was playing for love. I mean, the there's game. still now, some superheroes in NBA. Are, hmm? There's still some superheroes. Trying to get paid. Not like mm-hmm. before. Curry's John not a superhero. Lane. Curry? Yeah, Tied again, but not like I'm before. Like before well. you had <laughs> yeah. Chris Mullen, you had Clyde the Glide Drexler, you had the Kimbi Matumbo. Matumbo! You had, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you had like, you had like fucking Charles Barkley. You had David the General Robinson. Or the Admiral? I don't know, Admiral? Yeah, the Admiral. Anyway, it was, it was 90s is the best era. I don't know though, because. story period. I feel like what. I grew up on like Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, mm-hmm, Allen mm-hmm, Iverson. Mm-hmm. That might be the second best era. Yeah, hundred percent. No, because well, it, it was still tail off. You saw Allen Iverson crossover Jordan. You saw that, yeah. and that was magical because it's like, oh my god, this. Uh, Kobe famously once said that he said we should Kobe. all be thankful that that AI is in six three. Yeah, what was he? Or is six three or isn't? Is so, it? Isn't? Hmm. What was he like? Six one? I think he was like. Five, you think really? it was like, yeah, I think it was like six five eleven. Maybe? I think he he may have Damn. been six, yeah, six even. So my height, my height. Did you see? Um, Scotty Pippen said, Fuck Michael Scotty Pippen, dude. <laughs> Scotty Pippen said Michael Jordan it was horrible. Was, was horrible before Scotty joined the squad, and I'm like, you know what? Might be onto something. Mike goes out there drinking. 
listen, I'm gonna, all I'm going to say is that this is not the first time that he has said that shit. And since he said that shit while we were still living over there, since he said that shit, I would walk past his statue. And every single time Judah wanted to take a picture with his statue, I said, get the your ass over here. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, they got, I think, I feel like they, they got some like internal beef. Well, yeah. yeah, he didn't get paid. But that was his Pippin. inability to do a good contract. And, his, and his wife is out Call there Bill with Kenny. Jordan's fucking son. All right. That's the real backstory of it. Now the backstory. The truth. Wait, what happened? Larsa Pippin. She's with Michael Jordan's son. Michael right Jordan's now? son yeah, is been with for like the Pippin's last two years. ex-wife. And right now, damn, that's crazy. And right oh, now, sh- Scotty Pippin's son. He's pimping Pippins. Scotty Pippin's son is in in uh, on on the Lakers playing alongside another dude that was with his moms. That's that cr- like sucks. that's a stomach gut wrenching. Just- At that point, the only way to disconnect, you cut her off. Yeah. Stop talking to mom. Fucking nasty. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, you have to. Are you fucking with my reputation, my paper, For everything, real, man. <sighs> you, can't, you can't even concentrate. Like Jordan's oh, no. son, not even Jordan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, you, you went for the air of air. Yeah, like I don't know. Uh there's, there's, there's a, uh, there's a number two topic. It's a, uh, it's about Phase Clan still. Oh, yeah. Got uh, Grace Van Dien, who is the daughter? I didn't know this. I mean, the 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 name sounded the last name sounded familiar. Chrissy, wake up! Yeah, that's from Stranger Things. I right? don't like this. Yeah. Okay, but that's her, that's her. her dad is part of. Uh, her dad was also an actor. I uh, I was in the, I was in a movie with him called Noobs. Uh, what's his name? Huh? Right there, Casper Van him? Dien, who also. Is part of a fucking incredible sci-fi movie from the nineties that Starship I suggest- Troopers. Starship Troopers. It's so good. That shit's crazy. Isn't it's it really so good? good. It's really, really good. You guys should watch it. Yeah, I've seen, uh, they I've picked seen her up. that movie. They huh? picked her up for what? They picked her up to be a streamer. Oh, she streams? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, she's a streamer. But but the, have you been keeping up with this thing? Have you seen I any of the videos? The tw- we should I saw watch the them. tweets like I like I know, once Banks and Rain gets involved, and they're not on your side, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're done. done. They can. Well, she's also it. really bad at like damage control. Like she did not. Uh, I feel like she didn't do. Her not, research? not saying she deserved what happened to her. I don't think. I I think uh, what Rain said was a little ridiculous. But what do you say? That was ridiculous. Uh, you're mid, and I wouldn't t- let you touch me on my drunkest night. Yeah, but he did say that after she said, she's like, "You're no f- <laughs> isn't that a little ridiculous?" Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's like the thing is, is like she said, "He's like you're the, the the only reason I know you is I know you as a guy that almost OD'd, which is like, yeah. no, <laughs> no, which is like, which is what I why I'm saying she is horrible at damage control. One, yeah, rain well, fucking the, destroyed her. Two, she's horrible at her fucking comebacks yeah, once she and said, responses. Once she- this was uh. He says that I don't know what a trick shot is. You're you right. You can't play the video? I don't, and I know that's kind of what you're known for, but I know you, Rain, as the person who almost overdosed on the live stream, and I know that you are better now, and I'm really proud of you. That is weird. That's yeah. so weird. It's just yeah. like a jab. Uh, anybody in that- that's proud of somebody that they don't know I can't feels believe weird. It. Uh, it's like, yeah, you only know me from Stranger Things, but I only know you for overdosing on stream. But, but you I'm are really better, proud of you're now. better now, and I'm proud of like, it. What the it's fuck? Just that's aggers. so yeah, weird. It's, and then they'll, and then if you say it is, they'll be like, "What do you mean? I, I just told you." I'm that's ha- like that's yeah. like, it's like that <laughs> fake weird weirdo shit. That's just a dagger. I, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. She did get verbal kind of for yeah. I mean, daggers yeah, are just yeah, being she thrown. She strays just for joining the org. By the this them. is this is but but okay. One, it's not her fault that that happened, but it's very clear that there is a massive disconnect between the OGs. And that I don't want to talk about the face antenna thing because, like, I, I think I mean he's the one that started it, right? Yeah, I just, I, 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 I just the, the the dude was fucking out of pocket for sure. Yeah, right, for sure. And then it, it's and you know what? To be fair, like that's not the first time that he he sort of like stumbles on his on his words. Uh, but I just I I truly do feel bad, and I know that a lot of people are like, oh, like, well, you signed the contract, like you were well aware. If the stock was worth what it was stock when you were first were public, would we be hearing from you? Blah, blah, blah. Like all that shit. But people who 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 have never built something that big will never understand that. We get it because we were there at one point and we had we built something that we were fucking mega passionate about. 
nobody else truly gets what that feels like seeing what you worked your ass off to create for other people to benefit from to just simply like have people who have yeah, never like yeah, 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 this the, the dude the current the current guy lee trink who who i've spoken to in person i did an interview with him in person you know this was back in the day when when everything was like going going okay um but like the dude's got founder in his name, like CEO and founder, and I'm like, y you're not a founder. Like, and th is that that's the guy they're all Lee Trink? Hating? I don't know, I don't know, but he is the CEO right now. All, all I know is I hope to stay out of drama like this. Yeah, bro, fuck that shit. That's why I don't think about that's how good like, we did. Like, I don't know. Santana should have just never tweeted initially. It's yeah. not even. Okay. Especially go back. Like, and what are you gonna beef with the motherfuckers it? on your team? You can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. It's like it's like if like Seth and Nate dis like I it's throw like, yeah, I'm throwing like, shots at Seth yeah, and it's, Nate. That'll be weird. <laughs> yeah. One, it'd be weird. Two, it'd be weird. Two would be dumb. Three, there's no fucking winning that, no matter what. But yeah, no, that's actually a good point. Like, I mean, drama gets eyes said. on you. I I mean, I kind of see like I kind of see both sides did. though, sorta. I mean, yeah. I don't know why he said anything, but I mean, like he's like him and the nuke squad are like sort of doing their thing, like swag and Jay, yeah. like yeah. they're sort of doing their thing for yeah. phase. Yeah. And it's like, I think he feels disrespected by the OGs, but he's also riding off of what the OGs did. Yeah. Like, it's like it, pretty heavily. It, go, it goes to show, right? Like uh, every time that an agent calls me and he's like, hey, these guys contract are about to expire they really want to join optic i'm like i'm like oh that's awesome are there any other orgs that you guys are talking to is my first fucking question and he's like oh yeah they have interest in other says i'm like not for us not for us simple as that for us to go out and and and, and just put our our logo on a on a big fucking streamer that doesn't hang out or doesn't like know us or like that makes no sense to me because at that point we're just a fucking sponsor the same way that they have other sponsors up there so like that that's never been our approach will never it be, be more intimate it has yeah, to be more intimate better, and i think yeah. that that's what that's what these guys are fighting for right and you know the thought that why aren't they in content nowadays is like what what more do you want from from banks rain temper apex fucking yeah, adapt yeah. And, and and blaze and, and and rug i mean they laid it out pretty fucking yeah know? like what the, what the fuck you get to benefit from one of if not the biggest esports call of duty or not call of duty esports gaming brand out there from a team perspective like what else do you want them to do they already did all the fucking work what else do you want they they pay they they laid the road they laid and paved I mean, the you way you can make youtube videos with rug yeah i think people are just <laughs> people are just complaining that they like, like kind of disappeared and now they're coming but, back complaining where it's at and bro, then people are just like well where were you guys at no it's their right though though but also i have no idea they could have been behind the behind scenes, the scenes for same years stuff, yeah. they could have been like I mean, it should be they, fucking they thankful. Might, I mean, they don't cause uproar. I mean, it's just a down. It's not like anything was going amazing for them. You know what I'm saying? They might yeah. hate this, the new CEO or whatever, and they're like, "Fuck this! I'm not doing." I anything I don't even think that phase. that's the reason. I just think that the current decisions, and once they found out that other people, like fucking staff people, were getting ownership before them, like, that was a fucking issue. Um, people like getting picked up while others aren't getting paid as much. Like that's different, and I and I, I guess somebody said something. What did, did Kylie say something, Matt, about about the situation? Because I, I think I think that people were saying that 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 face is making a big deal out of picking up uh, this very innocent person, right? Like she had no, she was uh, she's catching strays in a sense. Yeah, yeah. But people were saying that they're doing stuff for her, but they never did anything for their current uh, pickup, which is Kylie, or the or the pickup that was supposed to, you know. Is is the is is one of the girls in phase right? If not the only woman in phase, yeah. right? Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's 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 levels to that that people just assume that just by picking up big people is like the the things to go. I mean, I also I also feel bad for her because now like this cool thing she joins phase. Obviously, it just gets like now it's just a fucking it might, shit storm. It might kind of work though. Like I I would have never heard about her if if it wasn't for any of this. Drama and I'm sure eyes. a lot of yeah drama gets eyes. I'm sure her stream gets a lot more viewers, probably yeah. getting a lot more subs. What, I don't what know if she does like did... YouTube or whatever, but it's probably kind of, I mean, it's definitely a stressful thing to live with. And I wouldn't want to live with that much stress and wake up and everyone's shit talking to you every day, but might work out, especially if 
the number four right there rain apologizing then they make a video together then Wait, everyone's where, where, friends where? the rain apologizes uh, once uh what was this i actually feel bad i wasn't being serious and i shouldn't have said the last part oh that's the mid stuff but first i want i but i just didn't want to i didn't want to hit without it. it yeah <laughs> no, I, I already contacted grace and and i'm gonna talk to her about it. apologize i have zero problems with her she's not that's she's not fuck with rain. <laughs> and that's i that's how it should be that's see now I if they make a rain. if <laughs> rain is funny now if they like collab on something it's like but oh, uh, this man. really is like almost how you're supposed to do it. The, some the, drama, some fucking be public no, beat. Rain, then you get together. Playing, rain played it right. Then it gets hella like, views. Then both people are like re really relevant. You see how she hit, it hit Rain with the, uh, I know you guys, but I'm really happy for you now. Yeah. And he hit her with the, yeah, apologize, make a video. But I mean, they're not going to make a video now because it's, no. they'll never make a video. Yeah. yeah. You don't think so? <laughs> Maybe. Well, no, because now it would be benefiting people that he doesn't want to work with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So any work that they he put just in, flip the script. Yeah. 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 Any Earth. work that they put in uh -huh. benefits the people that they are against, or yeah. the people that are that like, are driving face into a very, very weird path. They're yeah. against the people that have the mind of like picking her up. Yeah. So doing a video with her. Yeah, it would be would help the people that ah. made the decision to pick her up. <laughs> yeah. ah, okay, make it like yeah. that do... side. It's all fucked, bro. See, when and then they're like probably that. like, "See if we we pick them up, y'all work with them. Like, boom, this whole thing will explode." If if they can, if the OGs came back from Phase and like start doing videos and shit, that shit would just give me bang, bang a hundred percent. Give me bang to log. I mean, bro, think think about think about how good. But the thing is, with Rain, Rain has always had a good community, and people have always like fucked with him forever. Uh, so his views were going to be there regardless. So anybody yeah. that says that he's using this drama to like sort of, but not really like his views has all, ha, ha, have yeah. always been there. I mean, it's just the way the game goes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I hope Chalk it up to the game. I, yep. I won't be surprised when, when they get, when they get it back. I won't be, I'm going to be interested. They'll do it, it right too. They just need to get it back. I mean, they're like, the, the thing is like as a management group, as investors, the first thing that like if, if, if I was talking to those investors, I would say do whatever it is that you need to do right now to get this back to them, however they want to fucking do it, because nothing else matters yeah. because every what you're doing right now is is, 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 is plugging and putting band-aids on shit that is just not going to last. It's, it's, it's just not a lasting uh, thing. Period. I feel like so, it's maybe some ego shit to where like they really want to prove that they don't need the OGs. They don't oh, need their support. They don't need their... Have we heard that before? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, well... There, there, I, I do, I do, I, I will say this. Actually, maybe, maybe I won't. But I, 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 I think there needs to be some fucking unity and there is with the OGs. The unity! Sorry. Dave Chappelle reference. Yeah. Unity. Punch him, <laughs> punch him in the head with his ring. I think there has to be unity from from uh, from the new school guys. I, like I know Tico's now living with with the Nuke yeah, Squad. Yeah, they need to get Tico. Well, T oh. Tico's with Nuke Squad, living with the Nuke Squad. Yeah. Hmm. So Swag's there. Swag gets it one thought. I, I, I yeah, can guarantee Swag, you that that's why Swag stays out of it. Yeah. He, 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 he knows. But but the thing is, is like Swag was fucking immediately texted fucking Santana. He's like, yo, take that shit oh, down. Oh, God, he probably yeah. did. He's like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Swag fucking he gets that shit. He represents Swag. Yeah. Because yeah. Swag gets that shit, right? Uh, so I think from, from that camp and that camp in the, in the new, uh, I don't know. I don't You know what? I hope the boys are able to fucking save this thing because if 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 they are not the ones running this shit, Phase is going to the the brand. Let me rephrase that: the brand with those boys behind it will live on forever. Yeah. The second that that brand gets separated from those dudes, it's done. It it, it, it loses all luster, loses all credibility, loses fucking everything. And no matter how many people they pick up, it'll never be the same, and it will never Damn. have the same impact. So I hope Damn. I hope Banks Rain. Let's get it, Banks. Apex, go Rain. Time my, to fucking my man clutch. Tommy, oh, that shit Time to clutch. Man. Time yeah. to clutch. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Is it? I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand how investors in esports just can't see the most obvious fucking shit in there. Protect your money by protecting the shit that you invested in, the and that's by going with you. Over there? Oh, I found it. Anyway, all right, everybody, <laughs> we're, we're moving on from shit. there. Um, in lighter news, in lighter contestants news, contestants 
chase cheese down a hill. I, I've heard about that before. <laughs> the cheese chase. The wheel, the wheel race or some shit like that. Yeah, they, they, they put Bro, a, I don't know. They send a, blo- a block of cheese roaring down this hill, and if you catch it, you like... You keep it? Nah, it's like a thing, bro. Yeah, I've heard about bro, that shit's before. probably heavy yeah, as shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, people gotta be walking out with injuries. Oh, broken bones. Can we see video? Thank bro, you. Bro, like, how oh, you are have they... to chase it? Yeah, look at them. How do people not get injured? Oh, Why are people running down instead of sliding down? You know they are all hammered, what too. The fuck? Where's the cheese? It's like fucking human plinko. So what do you... Is, what is, is the, the object point? to catch it? Because ain't no way anybody's catching this that This has shit. to be in thing. the UK. Well, I can tell you that I don't see any Mexicans up there, and I would be like, all right, they're trying to make some quesadillas, <laughs> hey, and that's the best doing? cheese to make quesadillas that with. That thing is moving. There's no way they're catching that. And if they do, they got to get a crazy prize. Oh, that my thing was- God. Bro, I there get hurt go. playing... I joined a kickball league. Fun fact. I get hurt playing kickball. There's no way oh, I can do this with shit. Who? Like, Who'd you join a kickball oh. league with? There's some dude I know around here. Dude, that what guy the is. Fuck? He asked me to join join his kickball team. Well, you did it. I it. want us to. Well, no, you say had a you want team. us, but you know, no one's making the fucking effort. Like, <sighs> ain't fucking, that the truth? That, like, I, I want to play ball. I want to let's play basketball. Like, Look at this guy. I'd be down. Oh, Seth can play now. He doesn't have to worry about his precious little fucking hands. True. Would you be down for a basketball league? Uh, My point is, I get only if I, you want to see me cross fools up. <laughs> Yes. All right. Here we go. We got three. I'm down for a basketball league if we actually run the league and have like teams like and only let fucking shit noobs play. So we could have like real games. I mean, then I can't play because I'm fucking wet. (laughs) That would actually be super fun. Yes, I agree. Sounds profitable. This is what we need to do. Hmm. If we want this to be, sounds like there's some dough to be made behind. (laughs) Opportunists. If you want this, if you want this to be an actual thing that we do, actually, you know what? We'll ask Paige to get that set up. When's the last time y'all played though? Basketball. Because I don't know what it is, but my body's falling apart. It's been a minute. Like I am. Why'd you look at me like that? He went. My body's falling apart. He like looked at me. I just know. He's go get a ring dinger. He's. What's that? Where they, where you like lay on the bed? And oh, and the then he fucking pulls your neck. Your neck. Uh, the ring dinger. <laughs> I, need, I need that so bad. I'm scared of that. I'm Damn. not. Uh, Matt, can you make it a point starting today to move towards a world in which we have a poker live stream tournament here in these offices where you can see people's cards. Yeah. So th- to play some shit. Well, what we should do is fun. we should have a table, have translucent like. Places where you put the cards, and then, then we just crowdfund have, it, and then just have cameras under there. We can just have Matt sit under the table, <laughs> right texting. It's like uh, a a. Well, a, no, a, we just get like a little a little C nine twenty fucking Logitech yeah, yeah, yeah. cam and just have it. Yeah. Pointed up. Yeah, that's how they do it in poker. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Or they. But we or, need like or, eight of them. Or what we can do is we can just on the band on the on the thing put the same one so that when you lift it, you they can see it right away. Yeah, but then that's that's in your way, like no, because it's, it's, it's in the shit. thing. It's on the it's on the band, dude. We got yeah. I I've been wanting to do that. I've been wanting to live stream Nick our won, poker night. Nick won a tournament, and then you came through. You've won three. Okay, so it's you three, maniac, Dylan, Envoy. Well, that's people it. Who've won. So I'm I'm current. I'm the current optic champion of poker. Yes, you well, are. actually, you won. Alex, Alexandra. Is, Hex plays, yeah. like, just imagine how Hex would play. Yeah. Reckless, like he's trying to bluff, but you're just like, this ain't the time to bluff. But he's oh, like, he, he'll Mr. bluff Reeves. extras. And it's just, oh, he's a bully. Yeah, just really, uh, I'm just like, call. <laughs> what do you have? Four, he had we four, were, seven offsuit. I we were in Toronto and we looked <laughs> and then, up. <laughs> we were in Toronto. We looked up, uh, it was last night we were there, Sunday night, and Alex was on the screen in like that celebrity mm-hmm. poker thing. So she is the current optic. She is a, She's optic. a little until, fucking genius. Until I'm beat. Yeah. Actually, until I'm beat, I'm the Well, she'll, she'll be champion. here. She'll be playing in that tournament. Until I'm beat, I'm the champion. She's a little genius. Like, of course she's good at poker. Yeah. You can just tell by her personality. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think, uh, man, I think, I think we have uh, so much ahead in the next couple of months that... It's actually kind of good that we won't be able to be burnt outside because I think the less work that we have, the more willing you're going to be to be in your pool, the more willing I'm going to be to be in my pool. I want to go get fishing. Toasted. I want to party Excuse at me? Seth's house. You want to go fishing? You want to party at my house? We can make that happen. I haven't drank since St. Patty's Day. Like a big optic, like a big optic party? We yeah. can make that happen. I'll pool bring party? the chef. 
There we go. Big pool party at my yeah. place. I'm down. Tacos and a whole bunch of shit. But it's like, dude, I'm telling you, the next five weeks are insane. So I have Dream Hack, mm -hmm. Match Bachelor the week after that. Same, same. Champs the week after that. Same. Uh, Dream Hack, or our Halo event, I think, the week after that. And then I think I have to go back to Vegas for something that I can't say yet. Like, my next, my next like, five weekends are insane. He's getting married. It's just um, another day in the life for Hacks, huh? <laughs> Don't fucking talk to me about that. The next five weeks are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd have yeah, to figure out when we can man, actually I'm do fucking, that. But it's gonna man, be like damn. it's gonna be like a hundred degrees here for the next six months. So we're good. We're very good. We got time. We got so much time. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for tuning in. We do appreciate you guys. Do share this podcast with somebody who you feel might enjoy the great conversations that we all had. Uh, I want to give a final thanks to Factor and Rocket Money for sponsoring this podcast, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Big. Goodbye. Big.